afternoon, y'all afternoon. How's it going? I hope everything is going good with y'all. Y'all know I had to take me a day, get some rest. Because like I tell y'all too, that rest is important. It's important to rest. It's important to get them thoughts together. It's important to spend time with Yahweh. Pray. Just think on some things. Put certain things in its place. Enjoy yourself. If you have family, enjoy your family. If you have friends, enjoy your friends. But most importantly, enjoy your time with the creator of all and yourself. And everything else is extra. Give yourself some time to sit back and, and view and see the beauty. Look how far you've come. Look at the obstacles that you have overcame. Look how even what you're going through, whatever you're going through in your current state, how you're handling it. Count your blessings. Be thankful for the sacrifices that's been made for you. Be thankful to have another day to grow, learn, and transcend and be more. Be grateful for healing. And if you ain't healing, if you're thinking about it, be grateful that you're thinking about it. Because that thought may just come into fruition and you may do something about it. Every day is a day to be thankful for something. And I'm thankful... For you all that watch me, continue to listen, and allow me on your journey, because that's what you're doing when you're listening to me. I'm grateful for that. Because you don't have to. Yeah, they be shadow banning your girl and, you know, messing with your girl channel, but... That's all right, because I'm going to keep going because somebody going to get the message. Thank you to y'all who interact with me or, you know, like a video. Thank you all for some of your beautiful compliments that you give me. I do appreciate them. You know. Outside of the most high, always keeping me going. Those nice and kind words, they keep me going too as well. The negative ones too, because it lets me know that, you know, some people are in a negative space. We all have that sometimes, and it's a reason to keep going too as well. Because you can change somebody's mind. You can change somebody's heart. Or you can plant the seed, and the most high will do that change. If they want it or if they're open to it. And thank y'all for allowing me to share with y'all what's on my mind and my heart sometimes. You know, I don't just only do tarot videos and, you know, even on some of my other platforms I may do a video where I'm just speaking or I may do tarot or I have psychic dreams I may do something on that and I also do you know outfits and designs and stuff like that and just things through art you know down the line I'm gonna share much more with you all you know, as far as my poetry and some of the songs that I have written and, and some of the stories too as well. And, you know, even sharing some of my journal passages with you all, you know. 
just being open, being free, being myself, you know, being silly, being empathetic, even getting angry sometimes, or being cool, you know, just... I appreciate you all that accept me, too. And that was even a long time coming for myself, you know, to accept every aspect of myself. And I do that proudly and gracefully. And, you know, some people may not think so because sometimes I may curse or whatever the case may be, but no. I express myself in every way possible. And there's nothing wrong with word. It's something wrong with the way we think sometimes. But I just wanted to, you know, show my gratitude. But you already know what we finna do. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim wants us to know at this time. We're going to get into these messages and see what our Elohim wants us to know at this time. What does our Elohim want us to know at this time? We have courtship. Okay, so somebody could be... We got courtship, thief, journey. So... take them all since they all came out here so we got courtship thief journey main female so Somebody could be, you know, dating somebody or somebody could be trying to court you along your journey, but they're a thief, okay? Whether masculine or whether feminine. Um, I'm getting third party out of this too as well, okay? Somebody could have courted a thief along their journey you know, somebody who is someone's main female, and um, they look at a man as high honor. So this this is somebody that somebody could have a child with here, and they look at this man as wealthy and unexpected income. So they're a thief. So it could be the feminine that someone has courted and that has, they have bared a child or someone is with child, but this person is a thief. They looking at this man just as a wealthy man and unexpected income and they looking at this man as a man of high honor. So, so this is like dating and baby mom, baby father type energy going on right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull some cards just to dig a little deeper and see what else that we can see. Look, look splitting the deck. We got the page of cups with the judgment here because this could signify uh, with that little fish. You can say, I uh, dream of fishes, somebody pregnant or whatever. This could signify that, but judgment is being called on this pregnancy and or whatever was conceived here. So judgment has been called. There's going to be announcement of decision made about this here. What's going on with this courtship? Five of Wands. Somebody could have been courting somebody just... 
for competitive reasons. You know, the courtship could have been chaotic. Um, a lot of fights, a lot of arguments. Six of Cups, this is somebody from somebody past that, that they was with here. Somebody could have went against their self um, and didn't walk away. And now they're entrapped in something here. Somebody was definitely uncertain about growing things, you know, or, you know, working on things and growing things with this individual, but they went against themselves and they did it anyway. So now someone is upset, heartbroken, suffering, trauma, pain, loss, and there's going to be some instability, especially if this child, you know, is... Well, the child is conceived or the child is here. And then we have judgment here. Yes, yeah, this. Somebody conceived a child because they wanted to be uh, seen as the empress in the past here. So they teamed up somehow. They also celebrated getting this done, but this was done with deceit, and that's why judgment is being called on this. Somebody could see 373. This was conceived in deceit. What's going on with this thief here? Yeah, whoever this is was trying to have authority. This individual was even in their masculine energy uh, while doing this here. They could be worried. This individual wanted to mess with someone's uh, foundation here. Yep, somebody did something impulsive. Could have even robbed themselves. <laughs> That's what I'm also getting to. Somebody could have even robbed themselves. Somebody has a lot of air and fire in their chart. Somebody could have robbed themselves. Played the fool. What's going on with this journey here? Somebody robbed themselves and played the fool. We got the three of swords at the top of the deck again. We have heartbreak hotel. Yeah, because look, whoever this is on this person's journey looking at this shit like, I'm telling you, they looking at this shit like victory, <laughs> opportunity, expansion. That's how they look at it. Also... With, and, and, and they feel like they got the victory too as well because let me tell you they wanted someone to turn their back and leave out in the cold a two of cups six of pentacles something where you can get reciprocity in <laughs> yeah so not only do they feel like they got the victory because They did something to, you know, get ahead in life, to expand, to get an opportunity of unexpected income and wealth from a man. They also had this individual travel away and turn their back on a higher level of commitment where they would have received equal give and take and reciprocity in. They wanted, they wanted this individual to push away that comfort of having a, a lover, because the lovers is right after that. Two of Cups with the lovers. Push away teamwork. So somebody trapped somebody up for real. They did that. But at the same time, this person let themselves be raw for whatever reason. We're going to dig into that. Because it ain't all about somebody tricking them either. Because like I said, it's, it's looking like somebody didn't trick they self. Look, they're going to... Oh, Lucy. <laughs> oh, Lucy Lou. Oh, Lucy Lou. 
Lucy Lou, this female could uh, have cancer in a chart or Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. But um, somebody could feel like this, this feminine now is the uh, obstacle that they have to overcome. And it is because with this world, it's something that someone needs to end. It's something that someone needs to actually learn a valuable lesson from because of whatever made them <laughs> confirmation, whatever made them go this route. What's going on with this high honor? Listen, I'm telling you, this female feel like she got the victory. She riding off like, eh, I guess so. <laughs> the justice. <laughs> She think doing this shit is justice. What's high honor? This person panicking and worrying though. This person is actually panicking and worrying about somebody of high honor. See, this individual who did this creep shit, they ain't high honor. So, they're worried about who actually is high honor. They worried about who actually is high honor getting in the way. This person is in a panic and in a worry here. This person is also in a panic and a worry about death here. Or something transforming, something changing from what they tried to do. This person got cancer in their chart. It's, it's, it's like big Aries energy too. Big Aries, big Scorpio energy. But we also, oh, big Aries, big Leo, big Scorpio energy. But we also have cancer and Sagittarius. But this person is definitely worried here about something transforming here. Because they worried about somebody seeing or thinking that they have any possibilities with somebody that is of high honor a true badass being full of life love and possibilities with a lot of possibilities and options somebody that is justice somebody that knows because somebody knows this person is the devil here even if this other individual that was dealing with them don't. Somebody knows this person plans. So this person is afraid of death. They're afraid of somebody of high honor that knows what the hell they doing and what they got going on. See, look, the Queen of Wands with the Emperor splitting the deck. Cause this and then look what fell out, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> because this person want to be the Empress and want to be seen as the Empress so bad. And they think by them... Uh, having a child or getting pregnant by somebody or whatever the fuck. Um, no, they think by doing this shit in a deceitful way that no, it's it's not. It's not going to make you that. You're not gonna ever be ever be that. You'll just be somebody with a child that tricked a man. That's it. You will just be somebody who has no value in themselves or think they can't get it themselves. Look, the split in the deck, the moon. Somebody definitely got cancer highly aspected in their chart. You just somebody with hidden intentions that wear a mask. So you're not even free. You're not even you. You just a sneaky, deceitful motherfucker. Devilish as hell and rotten as hell. I mean, you know, you could live with that. Go on and live with that. But your decisions, just know that the most high know your heart. And know the reason for your decision making and why you did this. So them decision makers and the opportunity that you took, it may just end up upsetting you at the end. You may just end up traumatized, heartbroken, and at a loss. Yeah, you did this for opportunity. This is being illuminated. Which you did for this renewal. You did this for a renewal, and that's why you have that anxiety because you're being found out for what you did. 
with this four of swords you being found out for what you did you having that anxiety because of what you chose to do to try to expand somebody hit sagittarius capricorn taurus virgo leo in a chart double confirmation of a taurus double confirmation of a virgo right now Somebody also got Libra in HR. They did this to get justice. And they went about it in a deceitful way. They could have went to some type of voodoo priestess or something like that too as well. With this devil behind it, this demonic shit. A Capricorn could be involved, a Libra, a Virgo, a Leo, a Taurus, a Sag, an Aquarius. And right after that, the Ten of Wands, you're just going to be stressed and burdened for this sneaky deceitful shit you did. And guess what's peaking? The fucking tower. Because something unexpected gonna happen. And you gonna be hurt. It might even, something unexpected might even happen to your child. Or whatever you, or your pregnancy or something like that. With this page of cups. Yeah, you did some, listen, you. Yeah. You did some backstabbing ass shit with this ten of swords and this magician work. I knew it. You did some strong ass magician work to do this shit. So this person could father your child. And boy, did you make a motherfucking mistake. Because your ass is under judgment for whatever you did. It ain't going to be pleasant. What's going on with this mature man? It ain't going to be pleasant, baby. Yeah, you're going to get karma. Yep, you're going to be in regret. Look, splitting the deck. You want this person to be a provider. You're going to fucking regret it. What you did, you got um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini in your chart. You also got Sagittarius in your chart. Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. You're getting karma for this sexual act that you did. You're Because this was cold and calculated, what you did. You was on this horrid shit. And now, something in your fate is going to change for what you did. So this is what you did. Look, right after the four of cups is the five of cups. You're going to be at a loss or you may experience a loss. You might even lose your child for real. And that's just going to be so unfortunate because you did it. Trying to be possessive. And not only did you do that, you also celebrated this shit. You celebrated doing this strong, dumbass shit. So now your home and stability is going to also suffer. Watch. Watch what happened. For the sacrifice that you made to conceive. You sacrificed something to conceive, motherfucker. Sorry to call you a motherfucker, but you was a motherfucker. And you finna be in sorrow and regret. Also, you can have this person provide for you and y'all can have a higher form of commitment. You tried to call Joe, and then, and then, this is the this is another kicker. You tried to call judgment on another and wanted suffering for another. Somebody that's actually loving here, not you wanted them. Look, Spoon, you wanted them at a loss, so you could have sacrificed somebody else. You a dirty ass motherfucker, I tell you that. You under judgment for that though, because guess what? That person that you caused try to cause trauma, heartbreak, and loss to, all they did was renew and they the actual fucking star. You're not. All they did was had a metamorphosis and they is badass. But you finna go through it. You finna go through it. What's going on with this child? You finna go through it. What's going on with the look? Eight of swords at the top of the deck. Why I'm saying you finna go through it. Ooh, they ain't let me know what's going on with this child. I guess that's gonna be the unexpected thing. I don't, I don't know. Ain't nothing coming out for that. We gonna skip the child part. So this this part is unknown. I guess I ain't supposed to say nothing about that because we got the Knight of Cups here. The message communication, 
I ain't getting none. Forty. So, and then the six of swords is on top. So I'm gonna sell on by this child. What's going on with this wealthy man? Unless it never was a child and you just lied and said you was pregnant. But other than that, we got to sell on by this child. Mm, mm, mm. What's going on with this wealthy man? Because it wouldn't let me get nothing out of that. This wealthy man could be laying a foundation. And this man is going to be celebrating um, It's a reunion. Maybe reuniting with the divine here. Because we have star here. Maybe reuniting with that guiding light. Renewing their faith. Getting them some rest. Resting in the holy place. Renewing their faith. Expanding. And getting that blessing from the divine. And what's going to happen is you're going to be left out in the cold. With this five of uh, pentacles. They're going to leave this partnership with you out in the cold. And you're going to be breadcrumbed and starved. And left in the past. You're going to be sacrificed. And this person is going to come into a new. I just seen the Eight of Cups. This person going to walk away. Let's do some shuffles to see what's going on with this unexpected income. <laughs> That's what you was expecting. That's what you was expecting. You was an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Or you got that highly aspected in your chart. That's what you was expecting. That unexpected income. That money in hand, baby. Let's see. Alright. Yeah. You thought that with this family that you did that you tried to get in the look, five of swords right after it. You you was jealous and you tried to this is why this this family and this complete happiness is a and look look how this go. This is just me pulling the cards off the top and y'all see me shuffling like that. You were jealous and you tried to overpower and you abused your power. You tried to overtake something here. So that security and legacy and family that you wanted with this with this man? No. Empty victory. You're not going to get it. Also, that complete happiness and reward that you wanted with this man? No. You're going to be upset. You're going to actually suffer trauma, heartbreak, and loss for what you did. And that trauma, heartbreak, and loss that you're going to suffer is to purify you because you had no business. You know better. You had no bit. Oh, you could even did this to a, a priest. This could be a high priest. Or you did this to somebody that was loved, disconnected to heaven and earth. If this not a high priest. This person got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo in their chart. You attacked them with this seven of wands. This was an attack. Yeah, you attack this person. And you work with a king of wands to do so. An Aries Leo Sagittarius male. And they gonna be in regret too. Because of the endings that's gonna be had in their life. For the decisions that they made with you. And this is truth and clarity for that ass. That's just all in a row. But this could be a high priest or something like that. That you did this to. Or you did something to a high priestess. It's connected to heaven and earth. You messed up. You did this to somebody that was love. But look, this suffering, heartbreak, and loss that you're about to experience is for you. It's for your purification, okay? So that you can heal. Because you don't do nothing like that. You don't do no strong magician work and try to sacrifice other people and do all of this crazy, cryptic, underhanded, deceitful ass shit to get what you want. That's not how that shit work. And that's what the divine is about to show you that. The most high is in control. The divine about to show you that he's running the show. He is the authority, not you. Because you really tried to strong arm some shit. But you was not the authority. And you finna find that out. You definitely finna find that out. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to end this with a grateful heart message because it's something to always be grateful for. Uh, for the gentleman, you could be grateful. You better count your um, blessings and, play, and pray to the divine and, you know, tell them thank you because you would have been in some stuff and would have been in some shit that you ain't even really want. So you need to be uh, thankful and grateful because that's divine mercy and grace to the person who was doing this magician work and had people working with them and teaming up with them to do this magician work to keep somebody bound and stuck to them and do things for opportunity and money to have some sort of control. Uh, y'all could be grateful, you know, even though y'all gonna have to suffer and get that karma. Um, be grateful to know that the divine is absolutely, absolutely real. And you don't run shit. And the fact that you can heal and purify yourself and maybe even get what the divine has for you. If you ain't too much fucked up and changed your fate that hard. Or ask for some forgiveness or something. But it's always something to be grateful for, you know. Seeing a light within the dark. So we're going to pull some grateful heart messages. Can we get a grateful heart message, please? Thank you. Yeah, we have here. Point out the road. I must travel. I'm all ears, all eyes before you. <laughs> Yahweh is magnificent. He can never be praised enough. There are no boundaries to his greatness. I'm telling y'all. Ain't no boo. Ain't no boo crap. I will sing praise to the name of Yahweh the Most High. And then we have here, the joy of Yahweh is your strength. So I hope you all got a message. Look here. Blessed are those who can give with, without remembering and take without forgetting. I hope you all got a message from this read that will help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all later. Peace.